What's up, besties? Welcome back to Turning Tides Tarot. My name is Alicia. Thank you all so very much for being here with me. Y'all are freaking amazing. Thank you all for all your likes and shares and comments and for all of your donations and everyone here who's joined our Good Vibe Tribe as well. Um, Y'all are just so incredible. Um, I'm going to go ahead and ring the sound bowl as per usual. Um, yeah, and then we're going to get a love uh, situation that's going on in your love life, and we'll read on that today, okay? So here we go. Calling on spirit with so much love and so much gratitude. I ask for divine guidance as I interpret these messages. May they help us all on our journey towards our highest and greatest good. I'm asking for love, joy, peace, abundance, and protection for myself, for you, and for all beings on the planet at this time. Thank you so much, spirit. Um, just before we begin, I do want to send out just a small reminder, as per usual, um, that not every reading is going to be for every person every day. And I know it's a little bit insane that I feel like, you know, I'm repeating myself constantly and so are all the other readers out here, but you would be surprised at how many folks um, out there believe that each reading is about them and then they get upset if it doesn't resonate. And it's like, we're not here to uh, try to upset you folks. If it's not yours, please don't force it. Please don't make it fit. Okay. Leave it for the person whose reading it is. All right. Okay. So I just wanted to say that, but yeah, I appreciate everybody who's here. And a lot of folks are just here for uh, entertainment purposes as well, or maybe you're trying to learn tarot. So you just like watching readings and that's cool too. Uh, just make sure that you follow your own intuition and use your discretion, please. And thank you loves. Okay. Um, this is interesting energy. We have girl talk engagement ring, the Grim Reaper and Seduction. I don't think I've ever received a combination like this before. We have the butterfly. All right. So there's a relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child or growth, uh, which does actually remind me of the death energy in tarot. Um, and I'm not, I guess I'm not surprised to see the Grim Reaper here. Okay. Um, saying a relationship is over. No second chances. Grow and transform your life. Um, it's just interesting the order in which these came out because we have girl talk first. So, uh, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, having fun. So it looks to me like that's kind of where you are at currently. If this is your reading, uh, we also have engagement ring here. So engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, union. Some of you are right on the verge or have maybe recently connected with someone new, um, and are about to take things up to the next level, or this could be something that's coming through to you. This is what you're aligning with. All right. Uh, a new situation in your love life. Now we have this grim, grim reaper, someone or something from the past. I feel like, you know, is going to be, um, perhaps coming back around with the seduction energy, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, third party interference, you know, it's giving this classic, um, moment. And I say classic because we see this a lot, um, just in life and love in general, when you do move forward, move on in a relationship, a new commitment, even perhaps we do often see people and, uh, from our past kind of wanting to creep back into our energy, um, and maybe try to seduce us in some way saying, baby, I've changed, you know, <laughs> I've changed, or maybe, um, somebody is changing, but it seems like, like, I don't want to discount it. If somebody actually is doing some transformation and changing and growth, which is great. I'll always support that for any human. Um, but oftentimes it's like the person over here where the relationship is over with this person. Um, it does seem that the transformation is only taking place a to try to get you back or b because you have moved on from this part from them. So they've learned something after the relationship ended with you. Okay. And you have been a catalyst for this individual and they are indeed changing. Um, what I'm getting right away, even before I get into the tarot is that 
you know, you have been, it says here, time with friends, moving on, happily single. So um, I do feel like there's a, a totally si different situation going on, as, as in like, you're over here kind of learning, growing, moving on, you know, and then you're going to get someone from the past coming back saying, I've changed. They're trying to seduce you, maybe uh, become some type of third party interference as you move forward with someone new, right? So that's the overall energy. So let's just see what's going on for you first. Please, Spirit, show me what's going on with this person in our tribe who's happily single, maybe even um, on the verge of meeting someone new or moving forward, moving on in their life. Um, taking a, a newer relationship up to the next level. Tell me what's going on in this situation, please. What is going on in this situation? We have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this is representing you, I feel like, with the Queen of Cups. This is you being highly empathic, very intuitive, very loving, very open, uh, wearing your heart on your sleeve, okay? A very kind and deeply caring individual. Um, let me see here. Yeah, the Fool, you're on a new path, a new journey here. Um, and you are perhaps in love with someone new. Right. You you may have completely moved on, moved forward in your life and you found a new um, just a new way of living. I don't want to always just say, you know, this is a love reading. So, um, you know, I don't want to always just say your your new adventure is just all about the love and relationships in your life. I feel like a new love relationship is coming into your life or is present in your life right now because you decided to go on a new adventure, you know, follow a new path. It's like the energy of starting off again, um, but definitely emotionally starting new in love, right? And you're kind of in those new phases of love. Yeah. And you're feeling really good about where you're headed. Six of wands. A lot of you are f sitting here thinking like, you know, okay, this is the one for me. I'm, f I'm aligning with the person who's actually going to be very good for me. Um, and you know, that energy you feel when you are with someone new and it's feeling very fresh, very exciting. Uh, there's no wicked backstory or anything, you know, it's like, it's a clean slate kind of an energy and you feel really good about it. Again, you feel like you are, um, either have already found the next, like, you know, your next person, right? The person for you, um, or you're about to, right? You feel like you're doing all the right things here to align yourself with someone new, right? And that is on the horizon for you. It's really hard to nail down the timing because this is a general reading, my loves. Okay. Six of swords. Yeah. The sixes um, are linked, obviously, to the lovers. So this is someone new. Um, and it's it's indicative of moving forward, moving on with your life, taking the lessons that you have learned, um, going from a pretty tumultuous time into like a very calm, peaceful, stable, uh, harmonious time uh, in your life where you do see a lot of success. Okay, you feel really good about where you're going. Um, and you feel really good about where you've been too, like, you know, you're putting the past in the past, you're moving forward, moving on, like it states here, happily single, um, and aligning with the person that you're supposed to be with. We have the Knight of Swords. I feel like this energy belongs kind of right here. Because the Knight of Swords to me is someone who comes in, it's almost like a disruption, a, a disruptive energy. And I feel like this person over here, which is not the person you're currently dealing with, I would say that this is an ex. Um, this is a disruptive energy. They're coming forward, coming out of nowhere, rushing in uh, to speak their truth, okay? Um, and to say like, no, you're not going anywhere. You see how it's like kind of blocking the progress coming in? Oh, you think you're moving on successfully from me? No way. Uh, to be totally honest, this can even give that love bombing, um, narcissistic energy, not gonna lie, okay? So if you have dealt with somebody that you, you feel could be... Um, you know, a narcissist, this would be like, oh, you think you're moving on without me? Mm -mm. That is like the biggest, um, oh, what do they call it? Narcissistic injury that you can deal is like, you don't affect me anymore. You have no control over my world, what I do, who I'm with. Um, you know, I'm actually feeling really good without you in my life. And to have that energy like and to be carrying yourself in an energy like you just don't give a shit about the narcissist this will get them all stirred up and worked up okay so they'll kind of 
unfortunately uh, go to whatever lengths they need to to go in order to try to stop you from actually moving forward out with your life. Okay, it is pretty sick. It's pretty mental. I don't like it. No one likes it. Um, so I guess this is what's coming up. Okay. This is what's coming up. Now I'm not going to just pigeonhole this person and say they are 100% a narcissist, but I will say that they have those tendencies. Okay. I'm not a psychologist. I can't diagnose anyone. We have the king of wands. I do feel like this person has quite the explosive temper with the with the king of wands this person is angry as all hell they may be hearing the news that you've either maybe you have been engaged or you're about to or you've again you've you're seeing someone you can see it actually going to that place where you are going to take the um commitment very seriously at the at the very least here Maybe you recently got engaged, you know, that's just for some of you. I don't know um, who's reading this is just yet, but I'll tell you, this is where you're headed. Okay. And uh, this person over here, the ex, they can see that happening and it's not sitting well with them. And that's just putting it lightly. Um, I'm getting, I'm getting outbursts of anger. Oh my gosh. It's, it's like, it's swinging from, it's, it's interesting because seduction and paired with the king of wands as well. It's like. The King of Wands can be really, really sexy. I mean, the King of Wands is very confident, charming. Um, they can command a room. They are a leader. You know, they can come off of ha uh, off as, you know, really having it all and being quite the catch, right? Very attractive energy, magnetic even. But again, I feel like, like that's that's the image that they portray, and they know that they can tap into that energy of being very seductive. Like I feel like this person can. You know, I, I just heard charm the pants off of anyone. Okay, so not a very high vibing individual I'm getting over here. Um, they are trying to interfere with your progress. Okay, your next relationship. Um, and I feel like they are angry. I, f I feel anger, like red, hot, burning, explosive anger. Um, a lot of passion. I'll say that there's a lot of passion, but it's not necessarily being directed in a healthy way whatsoever. Okay. So tell me more about this person and what they're going to try to do. Yeah. The apology is minuscule. They're going to come through and they're going to say like, baby, I'm sorry, baby, I've changed, you know? Um, <laughs> They are going to be, uh, try to flirt with you, try to be seductive, right? Attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation. They're going to try to tempt you. They're going to find out that you are with someone else and they're going to try to tempt you, um, to, to stray, to interfere with this relationship, with the new relationship that you are either in or you're about to, um, enter. Okay. Um, so just be watchful, be mindful that this is happening. Spirit, why is this energy reading coming out for our tribe? What, what is the point of this nine of swords? I feel like this is something that you maybe have been worried about, or you, you saw this coming from a mile away. Um, again, I feel like this is something coming through because it's something that's been on your mind. Like I, maybe they've already reached out to you. Maybe they were already trying to cause problems, um, in your new relationship. Um, but yeah, mm. this is like, this is like your, your worst nightmare coming true kind of an energy. Now I'm not trying to like be all doom and gloom. Um, it's just that you already figured that this was going to happen. Okay. That's all I gotta say. You already figured that this was going to happen. And I feel like this reading is just kind of confirming it. Yes, this person from the past, this uh, ugly ex, I want to call them because their energy is not good. As soon as you go to commit, as soon as you take someone else very seriously, I feel like they're watching you. They're keeping tabs on you or they've got one of their flying monkeys checking in to find out what's been going on in your world. And as soon as you you move forward, it's like, boom. Uh, they've got this plan to come in and try to disrupt you, okay? But I don't feel like they're giving you anything um, decent to work with. Like, you know what I mean? I feel like they're coming in to knock you off course just to do that. Um, just to get you thinking about them again or focused on them, feeding them that energy that they need to survive. Um, this is what I'm picking up. It's not really the best 
situation. Um, but I mean, it's a warning and those of you who need to hear it, it is what it is, but I feel like you already knew that this was going to happen. Yeah. You, you already knew that this was going to happen here, but with the hermit coming up, I feel like you've definitely already learned your lesson with this person. And I see that here with the, um, the six of swords that's bookended here. Like you have learned the lesson. You already know. You already know how this person operates. Okay. You already know what they're going to do. You already know their tactics. Some of you have been, um, in the past, I wouldn't say right now, I would say in the past, as you were healing from this situation, I feel like you would have been pretty heavily immersed in content that would keep you well informed or content that has taught you what to look for or what to expect as you start to move forward and live this happy life again, you know, as you start to rebuild your, your life, as you go off on a new journey. And even as you enter into a new connection, I feel like this is, you know, you're prepared for this. Okay. You are prepared for this. That's why I didn't want to, I didn't really like what I said. It's your worst nightmare come true because you don't want to deal with it. Who does? Nobody wants to deal with it, but you knew you would have to, because this was, this is predictable. This was very predictable for you. Um, so I feel like, you know, I'm going to get some advice specifically, but I do feel like, you know, I already kind of know the answer with the hermit. It's to, you know, do not engage. Okay. Do not engage. Do not be tempted. Do not, you know, fall for any of the tricks or the traps or the love bombing or the hoovering or whatever, you know, whatever the tactic is that they use. Um, but they are going to try to come in and be funny and cute and playful and flirty, and maybe even offer you a very small morsel of an apology, um, to kind of get their foot in the door and to start working their little plan to interfere. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, we are not giving them um, any room to to grow in this reading. We're not doing it. I don't want to investigate how they feel and what they're doing. I'm not going to extend it. I'm not going to dive into their energy because that would be what they want us to do. So we're not doing that because these types of individuals, remember I said, I'm here for anyone's transformation. I'm here for anyone's change. I am. But these individuals really know what to say. They know the energy to project. They know how to even, they know how to trick people. They're tricksters, right? That's what they are. Um, and so I'm not going to give space to allow anyone to be bamboozled. Okay. I'm not going to do it. I feel like the butterfly energy, the change, the transformation, the, you know, the next phase, healing the inner child growth. I feel that really just applies to you in your situation. Okay. Because you are so far beyond this individual. Now this person could be from your deep past. <laughs> this could be something that you always expect whenever you enter into a new relationship to have this person pop back up. Okay, even if you've changed your number or changed your socials or like blocked them or something, they always find a way. This person will always go around any kind, they find their way around any kind of block. <laughs> okay, so um, I don't want to focus on them anymore. I really don't. Okay, we do have the six of cups at the bottom of the deck. Again, another six. We have six, six, six. Not that that is uh, a number of the devil. Actually, if you look it up, numerologically speaking, it is really, truly about, again, peace, harmony, love, romance, um, <laughs> you know, it's balance, stability. Okay. Um, it is linked to the lovers. Now it's a choice. You'll always have a choice whether or not you engage with this person or you tune them out as which the advice is going to be. I already know it. Um, but you know, you are aligning with a, a new path, a new soulmate here. Um, and again, just kind of confirming that perhaps you have dealt with this person for a very long time. Okay. Um, let me just ask specifically, what is the advice? Oh, hey, advice. We have the King of Cups. You know what the King of Cups tells me immediately for advice is, and I'm just going to take a peek at what fell out, is we already have you in the um, Queen of Cups energy to start. And I have Temperance under the deck. You, th the King of Cups is the next step up, or it can obviously represent a masculine and feminine energy. I do feel like you are aligning with somebody who, yes, truly is your match. 
not this ex person. Okay. Not the narc, <laughs> um, the new person. But I would also say for advice with the King of Cups is to, uh, really lean in on your own growth, on your own emotional maturity, um, and know when it's best to stay silent or to express. The King of Cups is not easily triggered by an emotional response. And that's what this narcissistic type individual is actually looking for is an emotional response. So I would say to keep yourself calm, keep yourself balanced, you know, <laughs> turn that painful situation into something powerful for yourself with temperance, temper your emotions. Um, and if you need to scream into a pillow or whatever you need to do to let it out, do that privately, you know, do not show this person any emotion whatsoever. Don't show that they've gotten to you or anything like that. Okay. But I feel like, again, that's something you kind of already know. What's this? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the hangman. It's like, you're just kind of waiting and seeing and waiting and watching. It's like, you absolutely know that this is going to happen. Okay. You know, that this person is going to come rushing in. As soon as they find out, it's almost like you've got them on a timer. Um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's very, um, unfortunate. I want to say it's very unfortunate because you know that you can't, it's not, it's like they had maybe at one point of time, they really had a hold on you at some point in time, or they felt like they just cannot let you go. They refuse to let you go. And so it's like, I know, okay. All right, um, I'm dealing with someone new. I'm moving on. I've gone on a couple dates with this person or whatever the case is. I'm just waiting. I'm just biding my time because here comes, you know, I don't know what name I want to put on them. Here comes Narc. Here comes the Narc. Uh, I'm just waiting for the time. They're coming through any time now, any day now. I'm going to hear from them. They're going to pop up, you know, um, and it is, uh, it's very annoying. It is a very annoying. Here it is these cars that were underneath. Um, yeah, this is an energy of being frustrated, waiting, you know, I'm just waiting. Here we have the nine of wands. I don't know if I can do this again. I know it's coming around. It really takes a lot out of you energetically. Okay. It does. I know it does, but it's, it, this is kind of minor. Um, uh, the nine of wands lets me know that you've already like both of these energies, actually the seven of pentacles, the nine of wands. This is like, I've already done everything that I know how to do. I've had to do this so many times in the past. It's almost giving like, this is somebody that you have been, maybe once you were married to this person, this is your ex uh, spouse. There's been a divorce and every time they hear about you starting something new with anyone, they pop back in to try to interfere. Um, but again, the titles really don't matter. I saw 2244 on this reading. Um, just so you know that you are in the good energy right now. You can do this. You've got a hold of this. Um, we have the, uh, yeah, you knew this was going to happen. You knew this was going to happen. Let me know if this is your reading and what the relationship was or like, was this your spouse? Who was this? Was this an ex? You know, who is this person to you? I mean, they're, they, sh I don't know if they're anyone to you now, but at one point it doesn't matter, whatever. Uh, we have the high priestess and the chariot. I feel like, you know, now your intuition has really, um, elevated. Okay. I want to say that your intuition is really on point. Um, you know that where you're headed, it's like, you've already left this person in the dust. Um, you've got a goal. You're not going to waver. Um, this is just kind of, I guess this reading is coming up just as a, a warning or, uh, kind of like an energy of like, I told her so, like, I know you're going to, I know this is going to happen. Um, you know, you're not crazy. This is what's coming through, even though, you know, we don't want to see it. We don't want to see this kind of thing repeating itself, but you know, it's going to, um, and I feel like it's almost unavoidable in a way. Um, eventually this narc, if you remain in that, what do they call it? Gray, gray rock or like no emotional response. If they don't get the energy they need from you, even if it's negative energy, they don't care. As long as you're giving them some kind of attention, that's what they thrive off of. So when you stop feeding them completely and you demonstrate that over and over and over, eventually they're going to get bored, you know, eventually they're going to get bored and eventually they're going to have to just completely stop, you know? And I do feel with this energy that especially with the nine of wands here, it does let me know that this is kind of like the final push, the final round. 
Um, I just saw 2442. Um, and I feel like this is it. Like there's something here about you being able to successfully move forward this time around, um, not engaging, having learned, having grown, having figured it out. It's like you've got the freaking master's degree on narcissism, okay, and how to deal with this type of individual, okay? So this is the situation. I, I mean, it is what it is. Let me get you some goddess guidance here. Um, I feel like it's just a reminder to temper your emotions, to know that really nothing has changed with this person. Um, it's the same old song and dance with this person, you know, and you just, you, you knew it was going to happen. Okay. Let me see. We have inner wisdom and that's what you have. You have an abundance of inner wisdom. Okay. You know what to do. <laughs> this is what says. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. And sometimes that appropriate action is no action whatsoever, right? Do not engage. <laughs> Do not engage with this person. Uh, let's see what else we have here for goddess guidance. And then we will, um, yeah, we'll just put this one in the bank. <laughs> we'll put this energy reading in the bank, take the advice and we will move on um, to something else some other day, right? We have a butterfly maiden. Look at that transformation. This is you. This is definitely you, right? Um, you are experiencing enormous change right now, which brings great blessings. Of course, it brings great blessings. And it also brings back this freaking person who's going to try to interfere, but they are going to be unsuccessful. Okay. That's just, they're not going to be successful. You will successfully move away from this person. I feel like once and for all, it's like driving the stake through the heart of a flipping vampire. Okay. This, this is what it's giving. Um, all right, let me get you, um, let me just get you an affirmation. I feel like, and that will be the end of this reading. Thank you again for being here with me. If you like my energy, uh, you like my vibe and yeah, you want to join our tribe. All you have to do is subscribe, folks. We would love to have you. We honestly have a tribe full of amazing pe people from all over the planet. So it's it's great to be here. And again, our our everyone's situation is different. And again, not all readings are going to be for every single person every day. So I appreciate your patience and I appreciate your discernment in weeding through what messages are meant for you and which ones aren't, okay? There is no blame. All right, I like this one. I release the need to blame anyone, including myself. We're all doing the best we can with the understanding, knowledge, and awareness we have. Even with this past person um, or this narc person, you may understand why they are how they are. That doesn't mean that you have to play their game. Okay, you may understand full well their past, their childhood, why they're using this, you know, why they develop narcissism as a coping strategy. Um, you may have heard it all, done it all, you know, empathize with them whatsoever. It's like, I'm not even blaming them anymore because I know what they've gone through. I'm just not going to engage. I'm also not going to blame myself for how many times maybe it took for you to realize or to engage with this person to realize that this change is never legit or is never going to happen, you know? Um, so yeah, there's no one to blame. There's no one to blame. It is is what it is and I feel like you are successfully moving on and if you take anything from this reading it is that you are in alignment with something really truly beautiful and you can be rid of this narc once and for all okay my loves all right um you know I feel like this is their last hurrah <laughs> but yeah I'm sending you lots of love I'm sending you lots of strength because I know you've got this and yeah you know take care of yourselves and each other out there um and I will read for you again she don't kill me, fight to the car to death. She said she don't love me, fight to the car that wasn't in the deck. The car my finger touched, they I got my wish. You know, for sure, when it's all done, she said she wasn't.